cat plushies are a wonderful thing. Cuddly, cute, just want to hug them and love them. But warrior cats plushies, well, I love them and I hate them. They're something I've always wanted for years and I love the characters, but they turned out a lot uglier than plushes that are cheaper. But it's the warrior cat's license, so I bought them anyway. But the Wave 2 plushies that we're releasing this year were actually looking to be a lot higher quality. For two days, until they switch the prototype images with the final product. These are $30 plushies. Well, actually they can cost as much as $43 if you include taxes and shipping. Or $108 if you want to buy all three. So it's a lot of money to drop on a product that doesn't meet the standard of quality you were expecting. But with the danger of pre-orders selling out at any time, a lot of excited Warrior Cats fans put down their orders anyway. So naturally, a lot of the fans were outraged when they saw the new photos. The muzzles were puffy and ugly, and the designs were overall cheaper. Several emails were sent to their support, but instead of sending responses with the option to refund, they brought out a glamorous apology. Their apology has to be one of the worst out there. Shifting blame, writing blatant lies, and distracting the reader while not even addressing the entire problem. Let's dissect this. We have seen a few comments that the new plush toys now in pre-order do not meet your expectations and are different from the original photographs. Everything looks good so far, but then we get this sentence. We were so excited to share the visuals with you that we posted photographs of the prototypes by mistake when we should have waited for the final versions to arrive. So excited to share the visuals. No, I don't believe this for one second. If it was just a matter of sharing the visuals, they could have made a post saying, hey, look at the plushies, available for pre-order at a later date. But they specifically decided to make them available for pre-order immediately. They were not excited to share their product, they were excited to get our money. Which is fine if they're honest about it, but they're clearly not. What really says a lot are the final words in this sentence. We should have waited for the final versions to arrive. Saying we should have waited implies a deliberate decision was made, even though the same exact sentence says it was a mistake. Pre-orders were posted the morning of September 28th, and the photos were updated with the final versions in the evening of September 30th. If the final versions were really arriving September 30th, why oh why was September 28th pre-orders so important they couldn't wait two more days for the new designs they clearly already had on order? Well, three words. The fiscal calendar. Now, allow me to enter conspiracy theory mode for a bit. So until I take this tinfoil hat off, take everything I say with a grain of salt, this is just speculation. Financial reporting often divides the year into four quarters, and at the end of each quarter a business will report its profits and other accounting information. This information is very useful when you're trying to get investors. So, by rushing out the pre-orders before the end of September, they could include all the money coming in as part of quarter 3, July, August, September. And in turn, it makes the company look pretty good and more likely to receive investments for quarter four, which is absolutely critical, it includes the holiday season after all. Last year, the Warriors plushies ran out of stock, so there were a lot of potential sales they never got, and they didn't want to make the same mistake for Wave 2, which means they had to produce more stock. And to get more stock, they need investors. And to get investors, they need proof that these plushies can sell. So by having pre-orders open in quarter three, they can have the data in their quarter three report, getting the information to investors ASAP. More investment, more plushies, more profit. But as the final days of September were dwindling down, they didn't have the final photos. Or they did, but they were too ugly. What they did have were some pretty attractive looking prototypes. So why not just post the prototypes, get those juicy September 28, 29, 30 pre-orders in, put them in their quarter three report, make the company look good. Again, that's all speculation. I don't know too much about fiscal reporting, so I could be totally wrong here. So please, let me take my tinfoil hat off and continue on to part two. Going forward with the apology, we got this. 
Changes were made to the prototypes, based on feedback from some of our select Warrior fans, to make sure they were as close to the character you know and love as possible. The Some of our select Warriors fans statement is awful, because it implies that we are the ones responsible for the changes. But in reality, they are the ones in charge, they are the ones making the final decisions. They should be taking accountability here, but they're not. Also, all the changes that were made from prototype to final version made the designs cheaper. Squirrel Flight is the best example of this. She went from dark ginger to a much more unsaturated brownish orange. So basically using less color dye. And then her tail went from a luscious fluffy texture to something much more cheap and matted down. And her sharp ears are more flimsy. The worst change has to be the muzzles, but that just seems more like bad taste than trying to make it cheaper. It's absolutely stupid to say the fans made these decisions, when no fan with a right mind would say, yes, please make Squirrel Flight's tail less fluffy and her colors more washed out. Let's keep reading. Below are a new set of photographs of the final plush product so you can see just how wonderful it is. Squirrel Flight's tail is as squirrel-like as you would expect. Bright Heart's wounds show her strength and bravery, and Ravenpaw's distinct white chest is clear within his dark black fur. It's funny how they specifically call out Squirrel Flight's tail for being well designed, when it's one of the things that looks objectively worse now. These cats were chosen in the previous Warrior Cats poll, and we worked hard to make them as wonderful as we possibly can for you. Thank you Warrior Cats fans for all your support, for which we are very grateful. There are so many loaded words in the last few sentences. Wonderful, strength and bravery, worked hard, wonderful again, support, grateful. These are all very abstract words that do nothing when you're describing a physical product. And it feels very disingenuous to talk about how wonderful the designs are in response to complaints that they look blatantly worse than the prototypes. Not once do they account for the fact that the people were emailing them because they looked worse. Not once do they recognize the fact that the new designs were clearly cheaper to produce. And not once do they address the biggest change they made, the muzzles. Why oh why didn't they address the number one concern that people had with the new design, the muzzles. Cats have small muzzles, they got it right last year, they got it right with the prototypes. Why why why? Just explain yourself, please. This apology did nothing for me. It actually had quite opposite the intended effect. It just made me more confused, more upset, and more convinced that this is all one big scam.